All right, so if you are a kicker and you want to throw a roundhouse kick, you might think that if you throw jab or reverse punch, that your only real option is going to be your back leg roundhouse kick because that's the direction your hips are going. And this is really what we work on with most beginners and up through most ranks. It is the most efficient version of this combination, but today I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to throw your lead leg round kick at the end of or in the middle of a combination instead of at the beginning. All right, so like I mentioned, if we're throwing a combination and I throw jab reverse punch, this leg is loaded and stationary, so the only thing that I have the option for most of the time is this back leg kick, whether it be a round kick, hook kick, front kick, whatever you might throw. It's usually off the back leg. Now, if you're at the basic level, that might be something you're gonna utilize quite a bit because the other people might not be trained to block it yet. But as you get more advanced, people are gonna know that it's coming. It's gonna be really hard to land it. So what I like to throw sometimes as a way to break up the kind of rhythm of this jab reverse punch back leg round kick is if I wanna throw a round kick, I'm gonna actually go one, two, and then throw my front leg. Now the issue that we run into is when we pull this hand back, I'm gonna lose a lot of distance, and if the person's backing up, my technique won't land. So what I need to do is when I throw this reverse punch, I'm gonna pull this back, but instead of putting my body back, I'm gonna put my body onto this front leg. All right now you can throw a side kick, round kick, or hook kick from the same transition. Uh, just depends on what you're comfortable with. So when I go one, two, I'm gonna reverse my hip, but push it forward at the same time. And it's gonna look something like this as we go. One, two, three, and it's gonna just smooth out. So as you practice it, really try to put your back foot and back hip forward and onto that same spot where your front foot was setting. All right, so if my front foot is right here, after I throw this reverse punch, my body does not go back, it keeps going forward. So I'm gonna go one, two, forward, and then kick. Notice that my back foot takes the place of that front foot. And again, we can take this, we can throw one, two, we can throw hook kick, one, two, side kick, whatever your combination is that you like to throw, or whatever the other person is open for, play around with these different versions. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if there's any way that you throw that front leg that I didn't mention. But other than that, as always, have an awesome time training. Have a great day. I look forward to reading all of your comments down there, and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.